gonna show you what I um, got for Christmas. So, yes, everything, well not everything, but most of the stuff is in this bag. And I just thought the bag was like so cute. These are so comfortable, they're so cute. I remember seeing them in Primark and I messaged my mum was like, look at these, they're so cute. And she got them for me for Christmas. Because she's always like, what little bits do you want for Christmas? What little things? And I'm like, I don't mind. She's like, no, I need something, something small. So that was one of the small things. Oh, these I got myself. It's not Christmas without cozy socks, right? So these ones are pink with red strawberries and then some just uh, plain red ones. Hopefully this sounds good. I can't work out how to use my earphones when I'm recording my phone. Something else from Primark was this Sailor Moon tumbler. I can't really do tapping with my short nails. I've been biting them, I know. I go through stages of not biting them and then biting them so I've used, I've tried everything so I need to paint them or put like fake ones on again so that I don't muck about with them I need to buy some small small nails but yeah this tumbler is it was only 350 I don't know if they still do this because apparently I'm got it a while ago. But every time I go in there's like new Sailor Moon things. Like the other day we went in and it was there's like a uh blue like thermal bottle, but I already have a pink one, so So yeah. I should really show them up close. So, cute. And then something else I got myself was three, that was four, three, three, three candles. Three candles. I love candles and I, the, was it the blossom one? Was it cherry blossom one that I got? Is it left somewhere? The candle I got from Bath and Body Works, I burnt that one that I got for my birthday, so that's gone. So. I got some from TK Maxx and I got the Juicy Good three Juicy Good Shore candles because your girl loves Juicy Good Shore. So this is the first one if you can't even see because of my ring light, which is falling for Juicy. And this one is dry daffodil, rose petals and orange blossom. And they had another one, so I got three, but there was four. And I tried one that was like peach scented, but it wasn't really 
I didn't really like it that much. Not compared like to these three. And also the the like packaging wasn't as good. But yeah, so it's three wicks, which is really nice. And the lids don't like to go on. The lids are a bit awkward. Because it's... I think it's bent. Oh yeah. It won't go on. But yeah. And it's got like... Let me just get the lid off. It's got like... Flowers and rose petals, or petals around it. Which is nice. But yeah, it's really like florally. And then I got this one, which is cherry on top, cherry on top. And this one is fresh berries, sugared cherries, and rainbow sherbet. So sweet. Oh yeah, all the lids have juicy control right on it. And. Again, nice berry sweet scent. And all the way around it, it's like, looks like candy, as they say, or sweets, as we say. And then the last candle was I Dream of Juicy. I Dream of Juicy. And this one is Candied, I think, Candied Berries and Luscious Florals. And this is just like plain. And yeah, it's free wicks. And it's like a lighter pink. Oh yeah, I didn't say, if you can't see the lips are like rose gold. So those are the candles. And then next thing is from L'Occitan. L'Occitan. I'm not sure that's how I say it, L'Occitan. And it packages so nicely. We got this in when we went to Bristol. I went to the store and this is probably my favourite hand cream ever. There's a few samples in here too. But I haven't opened it yet because it's just so nice. <laughs> So we can unwrap it. I already knew that I had this one, so. Within inside there was some samples. So they did this so nicely. So yeah, I'm opening this now. I kept it to open. So I knew I wanted to do what I got for Christmas. I did one last year. And then I wanted to do one again because it's so much fun to watch. It's one of my favourite things to watch on, on like not a, normal content, not ASMR as well. Like I love seeing it. This is the um, hand cream for dry skin. Cremant, I guess. Cremant? Mites? Because I know they don't really pronounce vessels in French. But yeah, this has got shea butter in it. And also, um, how do you say it? 
real. I don't think you can see this look real. On the side, which is really cool. So yeah, let's open it up. You can see. When my mum first saw this, she thought it was paint. <laughs> Like a paint tube, but this is the hand cream. It's hard to read a apple. <laughs> but this stuff smells. It doesn't really smell of anything, but it's got like a light scent that that light shea butter scent, and it just makes my hands feel like so moisturized. Because like, especially in the winter, like my knuckles get so dry. Oh yes, I think it's sealed. Oh no, it's not sealed. That's fine. But yeah, it's um, I take some off. I usually put my knuckles first, but I'll... this stuff is also like so thick. You only need like the smallest amount, and it really just soaks in. I just like rub it over my knuckles because that is the worst place for me for dry dryness. So yeah, that was that. It smells beautiful. Um, next up, this is well, I got some chocolate for my nan as well as you do, but. She also got me these, which are Grinch bath bombs. How cute. I love the Grinch. So yeah, I'm excited to use these. And then I got more bath bombs. I did have two other bath bombs, but I've used them already. It was a snowman and a reindeer, and I had to use them straight away because they were just so cute. They, my mum got them from like a, like a small business somewhere, I when she went on holiday, and she also saw these, and they're bath macaroons. I just thought that was like so cute. Um, you have strawberry, lemon, sherbet, and coconut. So, so they're all fragrance with the same thing. I like how it says this is not food, do not eat. And this is also suitable for vegans, so good to know. I'm not vegan, but it's nice to know that you know stuff is is easy to make stuff vegan now, I think. I think with beauty especially, I try and look for like cruelty free and vegan things for some reason. So yeah, super super cute. Cute. And then, oh yeah, I knew I was getting this one as well. <laughs> we were in, what was it, Home Bargains and I saw this and I was like, Can I kind of want for Christmas. I was like, I'll get you for Christmas, why not? And it was a Spider Man colour changing bubble bath. Red to purple, and it's strawberry scented. This is really cheap, so she's like, yeah, sure, I'll get it for you. But I think this is sealed as well. Uh, yeah, it's sealed. I'm going to take it off because I'm going to use it soon. But there was other, I, I think there was one other 
like color character there. I don't know if it was the Hulk. It was like green. But Spider Man is my favorite, as you'll see soon. For an upcoming present. So. So next up is. Oh, my calendar. It was sort of slid in there. This was, um. This was an after Christmas present because me and Mum went shopping on New Year's Eve and she needed to get some things and she was like, oh, I didn't get you a candle, we wanted to get you one but we couldn't find like the one we thought you'd, you'd like and we went in and we went into the calendar shop and we saw this and it's the Van Gogh calendar for 2024 and the Van Gogh one was the one that I saw before I really wanted. And it's a good job we waited because it was money off. But yeah, you've got um, all of his famous paintings. Some I can't name. Some I can. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought it was beautiful. So there's all the paintings. Is that the first? Yeah, so this is a portrait for the first one. I'm gonna have to put this up somewhere. Have him stare at me for all the things. The January things that you do, you know, like the resolutions you don't keep. The things you think, oh, oh, do this this year, you don't. I think the one thing we really want to do this year is make a game. So yeah, that's my calendar. So, the next one is this one. So this is Steamboat Willie Disney Lego. And this was the one that you could only get with purchase. But I found it on Vinted, and I got it for Christmas for myself from Vinted. <laughs> and it is built, but it's downstairs, so... If I remember, I'll try and insert footage of the actual boat itself, because when you move it along the steam, the steam things up here, they move up and down, which is really, really cool. So... Yeah, it actually goes up and down, which is so cool. If you're interested, there was they did do one of these before, but I think they retired like some years ago. But there's the number four zero six five nine. In case you want to know. Now the next one. So this actually came with something I got as a gift. It was in the box. So this is Galileo Galilei and is the um, astrologer, I think. I forgot. I knew that I researched it to say and I completely forgot. So this one was again one you got with purchase and I haven't built this one yet. Uh, where's the number? This is a Lego Ideas one as well, which I love. Lego ideas. I like looking at what people come up with. It's so cool. But this one is 409 40595 as well. It's only got 307 pieces, so it's not too big and it's not too complicated. So that actually came in. I wanted this one. I saw this one on the website when I was looking at Lego. And I thought that's so cool. But I didn't buy anything to get it. So I was really surprised that I got that. I was really happy. And then the last one I got myself, which I've built and downstairs, and I will try and remember, is the Disney Up House. And you get Doug, Russell, and Coral, of course. 
I love this film. I think it's such a great film. I think it's beautiful. And this number is 43217. 43217. And I built this one Christmas Day, I want to say. And you build like the inside. And the balloons. And you also get the um, adventure book as well. Gotta have that in there. So yeah, I think it's just so colourful and so beautiful. It's not too big either, so it's easy to display. So yeah, so happy with that one. It looks so cute. Um, I also have th three other things that I needed to show, so I'll be back. When I said there was three things, there was four f extra things that I forgot about, because <laughs> they were like, in my shelf. And the first one was this one. Monopoly Animal Crossing. completely forgot about that I had this one but yeah it was in work and it was only like once it's just over a tenner or something like that and so I thought I can't not like just even as a collector as I am I really want to get back into this game I remember playing this lockdown, this was like my lockdown game. It came at such a perfect time. I need to get back into it and do the happy home expansion. But in this, you don't you don't have like the paper money, you have like the coins. And there's is that Timmy and Tommy. And you complete like island tasks, shop at Nook's Cranny. And then choose your character skills and then earn the most money. And you've got like these ones. I've shown you the character tokens, so there's only four. So you get those ones. So yeah, I'm excited to play that. Maybe. We'll have to see because some things are like I want like the collector thing that I want displayed. Okay. Next up are what my boyfriend got me, and he, he said he wanted to do something like outside of the box, so I wasn't expecting this, which is like perfect, and he got me the Final Fantasy fourteen cookbook, and I've already like flipped through and I kind of, there's a rules, yeah, and I want it like there's so many things that look delicious in here. And you've got breakfast, appetizers, breads, soups and stews, main dishes, sides, dessert and drinks as well. Let's see if I can find one. Like one. Oh, this looks nice. Let's see. Probably not as good as that. Futo Maki roll. Like, that looks so good. Yeah, it's like, looks amazing. So, all like recipes are the food that you can make in Final Fantasy, obviously. So, so cool. I've all I wanted that one for a while too. And I thought this one was fun. This is the anime chef cookbook. 75 iconic dishes from your favourite anime. And this is all illustrated. There's no pictures, but it just makes it even better. <laughs> and so let's see. So everything's like kind of listed. It gives you 
Um, it tells you all about like different ingredients, like Japanese ingredients. So this is appetizers, mains, desserts, and drinks as well. So let's go to something that looks delish. Oh, like here, a souffle omelette. And that shows you like it's illustrated, so it looks like the anime. Yeah, paprika seafood Caesar salad. Like so nice. And the last book, which is the Elven Cookbook, a recipe book inspired by the Elves of Tolkien. Like this one, I just thought was so cool. And Again, so we have breakfast, light meals, main meals, feasting and sharing, sweet desserts and sweet things, and drinks. So like the feasting, it's like the great feast and the hero heroic age of the elves. Like that's so cool. Let's see if I can find one with a picture. Raven de la Rose Lamb. That look nice. Probably won't look as nice when I do it though. So, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. I'm so excited to like cook things from this. On to the big present. I had no idea about this one. And I was really surprised. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so sorry about my ring light. This is the amazing Spider-Man Lego. And this is like the art one. So, you have Spider-Man here. And the best way to demonstrate is to show you because I built it. I was so excited. I'm gonna have to move this slowly so I don't drop it. His hand has fallen off because my, I'm gonna put it on in a minute, but my dad picked this up and didn't put it down very gently. And he was like, oh, I think something broke off it. And I'm like, okay, why did you break my Lego that I spent ages? But yeah, his hands fell off, but I'll just show you what it looks like. So, it's like a 3D image. It's so cool. It took me a long time. A very long time. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to redo his, his arm down there. Cause you hang this one and it needs Obviously then the hand goes like underneath the frame. So that's why you can't really. Yeah. There you go. Looks like that. Just I guess it's fun. But yeah, his hands move. So it wraps around like that. And then the spider's all the way around. So yeah. I'm proud of myself that I built this one. This is the biggest one I've ever built. So yeah. It's so cool. And I'm going to need to find somewhere to hang it. So maybe get a shelf to hang it on instead because I don't want this falling. Because if that falls then that's it. I'd be devastated. But yeah, happy, excited with this one. It's really cool because, oh yeah, his head moves. But um, the book was saying that Oh gosh, here we go, everything's falling apart now. Uh, it said in the book that the colours used was the same colours that was printed in the first comic. So, that was really cool. Uh, yeah, that's my Spider-Man. And it just makes me want to build bigger Lego. Like, 
the one that I really want is Ravendall, of course. Millennium Falcon, of course. Um, Home Alone. Home Alone's one. I need to find that one. But yeah. So, I have his fingers here. So. Thank you for watching my What I Got For Christmas. And I know it's been a while, I'm sorry. Um, but I will try and do my best to do more. Let me know what you want to see. I want to do more hair videos. I really enjoy hair videos. They're like personally my favourite to watch, so I want to do them too. So yeah, thank you so much. And see you soon. Bye.